so in this lecture we are going to make this model so you can find the drawing of this file and you can see all the dimensions are highlighting so first of all try to make this model by yourself and if you find any problem continue watching the video so here you can see in this there is a base part on to this base part there is some circular part also we have some rib sections so we need to create this part so first of all to create this type of part always we need to create the base first so the base is this part so if i zoom in the dimension for this base this is 20 and this is 70 you will see two radius radius 18 and radius 24 values 10 and this and this value is 10 also we have one more dimension that is 54 and the third dimension of this part can be seen in this top view this is 72 now let's go to Creo so in this Creo you can see I have already created this model so you can see the model we have used multiple commands here so now let's start the modeling select new uncheck on this give it name this is model 3 click ok so we need to select mm and part solid absolute click OK now here I will go to the planes so first of all you can see we need to select the proper plane so in this situation we are not going from top to bottom so here we cannot use the top plane directly we need to select the front plane because we are going from front to back so here click on extrude click on front plane ok this is top plane this is right and this is so select front plane and sketch view now first of all turn off all the planes take the references so take the reference of this axis and also this axis press escape so I will go to rectangle and then draw a corner rectangle so draw a rectangle like this give it the dimension so this value is 20 and this value is 70 after that we need to create the circles so the dimension of the circles is radius 18 and radius 24 and these are offsetted you can see and this offset gap is 10 so what we can do is I will create a circle so let's say from this point draw a smaller circle and then draw a bigger circle for this bigger circle what I do I will draw the circle up to this end point you can see this end points are collinear click ok press escape so with this this gap is 10 insert the value 10 ok for this small circle select this click on radial so this is 18 so dimension of bigger circle is not highlighting what we do is dimension select this circle and then click here press the roller of the mouse and then click ok now you can see it is radial dimension double click this is 24 so let's say you want to convert this dimension from radial to diametral what you have to do is hold down the right click of the mouse onto the dimension and you will see this option radial so right now it is showing diametral press escape so press escape and then and then I will trim the extra parts of the dimensions now to trim the extra part what I do I will take some more references I will take a center line from this center make a horizontal center line you can see symbol of blue highlighting that is it is a horizontal line click ok so with this reference we can trim the circle along with this we need to create the rectangle on the right side that is of dimension 54 so I will go to part so from here I will draw a rectangle like this take a corner rectangle from this end point draw a rectangle like this now for this rectangle this value is 10 and this length is 54 now we can trim the extra parts go to delete segment first of all trim the circle like this 
similarly from here from here here we need to trim this upper half part okay and then from the right side we need to trim this this and this hit the roller and you can see the red color is highlighting it means we need it means there is something open so go to line chain from this point up to this point press escape and now you can see it is showing a shaded geometry it means it is a completely closed geometry so click ok now here what i do i will go to this depth or i can make a right click hold down the right click here we need to change the direction so if a so if i go to the side one it is showing symmetric also you can click on this icon go to symmetric this dimension is 72 click ok so the base part is ready after that i will create the circular parts so for the circular part you can see distance is 30.8 from this vertical line and from this horizontal line this is 62 this is diameter 18 and this is radius 18 so here I will go to this plane, turn on on the planes. So once again we need to select the front plane, go to extrude, select this plane and go to sketch view. And then I will draw two circles, draw two circles like this and give the circle dimensions. So this value is 18. Select this dimension, click on radial, this is 18. Now this value is from horizontal. So first take the references. References, I want a reference of this vertical and this. Click close, go to dimension, select this line and select this center. Hit the roller of the mouse. This value is 62. And this value is 30.8. If you go to the drawing, you can see this is 62 and this is 30.8. Okay. And the height of extrude is 36. So click OK. And this extrude I want on the both sides. So click on symmetric. 36 click OK. After that, we need to create the rib sections. So if I go to this drawing once again, you can see there is a rib. If you take a look from the top, this thickness is 12. And then from this side, and you can see this rib is collinear up to this point. Similarly, this is tangent with respect to these two points. Okay. Go to Creo. And once again, I will select this front plane. So go to Extrude and select this front plane. Click on sketch view now from here first of all i will click on project and select this edges this edge this edge and this edge close okay after that i will go to line from this point up to this circle basically i want a tangent line so make sure this is tangent so when i drag the mouse you can see symbol of tangency is highlighting in this blue color it means now these two are tangent with respect to each other so click ok press escape now again you can see symbol of tangency if these two lines are not tangent you can also make them tangent using this constraint from here again we need tangent line here so i will go to tangent line so this time we need tangency on both side so i will select this point or you can say this circle and this circle press escape so it will automatically create the tangency on both side you can see symbol of tangency highlighting here now we just need to trim the extra part so i will go to delete segment we don't need this upper part and also there is some extra part here so click on this line and press escape and you can see it is a completely solid part so click ok i want in both sides so click on symmetric this value is 12 
click OK. So in this way we have created this rib. Now we need to create one more rib. Go to the dimension once again. So there is one more rib you can see this rib that is of thickness 8. For this rib we cannot view from this view. We need to go to the side view. This side view is showing that this is the length 18 and it is going up to this dimension here. And also from this 3D view you can see it is showing here. Now to create a rib onto this plane, first of all we need to create a plane that is passing through the center of this circle or this hollow part. To do this I will create a plane. Now for the references I have this plane that is right plane. Now for this plane I want to build a parallel plane. So click on parallel. So it will be parallel with respect to this right plane. Hold down the control key and select this axis of the circle. For this axis I want it through. It means that uh, this, uh, this uh, plane is passing through the center of the circle or this axis but it is also parallel with respect to this right plane. Click OK. Now I will go to extrude and this time I will select this plane. Click on sketch view. Ok we need to reverse the direction of view. So what I do? I will go to this sketch setup. From the top I will select bottom. Ok not bottom. Ok from here we cannot select the proper orientation. Uh, I will click cancel. And here we need to change the view. So let's say I will select back view. So when I select the left view, it is rotating properly. Okay. From this left view, I will take some references. I need reference of this edge. You can see this edge. Okay. So once again click on left view. I need a reference of this edge and this edge. Okay. Now I will draw a vertical line from this edge like this. You can see vertical symbol is highlighting and then draw a line up to this point. To create a closed sketch we need to project some lines here. Project this line, this line, we need this line. And then close. Now we can trim the extra part. First give it dimension this is 18 and trim the extra part. So go to delete segment. We need to trim this, this and this. Press escape, click OK. I want this on symmetric. This is 8. Click OK. So when you create a rib using the extrude, you can see there is a some problem. So if I zoom in here, you can see there is some material outside this. So that is the limitation when you create rib using extrude. So always you need to create the ribs using this rib command. From here go to profile rib. So when we learn about different types of rib we are going to continue this. But right now you can create this rib using extrude. Later on when we will know about rib command you can also create the, this types of rib using the rib command. So in the end you need to reflect this. So you can. So we also need to create this rib on the other side. So what I do I will go to extrude and go to middle. Select this front plane as the reference and click OK. Now you can see we have created the part on the other side. So after we created the part we need to create this cutout part and create this fillet part. So if you go to the dimension for this cutout this is 10 and this is 20 and radius of fillet is 10. To create the cutout I will use extrude click on extrude and then select this plane. So I will select this top face. Sketch view. From here I will take some references. Go to reference. Take the reference of this edge and select this plane. Now turn off the planes. So I will create a rectangle. Go to this corner rectangle. From this end point draw a rectangle inside like this. Ok so this dimension is total dimension is 20 
and this half dimension is 10. So this is symmetric with respect to this horizontal central line and this is 10. Click OK. Here reverse the direction, reverse, make sure remove the material and click OK. After the material is removed, we need to create the fillet part. To create the fillet, I will go to this round, select round. Radius is 10. Select this edge, select this edge. And one by one select all the edges where we want to create the fillet. One by one and click OK. So finally the part is completed. You can save this file, go to file and save as and select the location and the name. I will click cancel and in this way we can create a part.